Hello and welcome to Adam Shah Weekly. In this video, I'm going to go over that how you can return different kind of views based on a condition in Surf UI. Now we'll be covering two different ways of doing the same thing. One will be using any view and the other one will be using the group. So looking at this example, we have is logged in and it is set to true. And in the body of the actual view, we are saying that if it is logged in, then we are going to return a text view, which is logged in. And if it is not logged in, we are going to return another text view, which simply says not logged in. So in both the cases, we are not returning different views. We are returning a text view. And if I go over here and change the property from true to false and run the app again, you'll see that it will be saying not logged in. So that's all working great, but what if we want to return instead of the text, we want to return some sort of an image. So how do we do that? Well, you might be thinking that, okay, I can simply go over here and just go ahead and type the name of the image that I want to return. And I'm just gonna use the image called hand.thumbnail or thumbs up.fill, all right? So if the person is logged in, I'm gonna return an image. If the person is not logged in, then I'm going to return a text. So now we are trying to return two very different views based on a particular condition, all right? Now, if, if I go ahead and build the app right now, already I have a problem. It says that, well, it can't do that. You have to return either the image in both the cases, or you have to return the text in both the cases. So, well, I don't want to do that. I want to return the image based on if the person is logged in and I want to return the text if the person is not logged in. So how do I achieve this? How do I, what do I do in this point? Well, what we can do is we can actually go ahead and wrap all of this in a group view. Now, group is more of a invisible kind of a view, which can be a container for other views. And when you wrap it in a group view, the group view is the one that is being returned all the time. And that contains other views. So make sure that you remove the return statements from within the group view. So let's go ahead and return, remove that part and the other one. Let's go ahead and build our application again. And now you'll see that it builds fine without any issues. Let's go ahead and run the application. Right now, the is logged in property is set to false. So you can see that the text view is getting rendered. But as soon as I change the is logged in property to true and run the app again, you will see that, you, that the image will get rendered. So we'll wait for the image to appear. Most probably I messed up with the name, hand dot. There we go. And now you can see the actual image is appearing. So based on the condition, we are returning two different kinds of views. If the person is logged in, we're returning the image. If the person is not logged in, we're returning the text. Now, this is not the only way to solve this particular problem. You can also return any view. So let's go ahead and take an example for that. For the any view example, I'm gonna remove the group. Let's go ahead and format it a little bit correctly. And what we are going to do is we are going to wrap our image and the text view inside something called an any view. So I'm going to go ahead and say over here any view. And inside any view, I'm just going to pass in the actual image. And I have to do the same exact thing for the text also. And let's go ahead and build that. And uh, okay, so we have to make sure that we are calling the resizable and the frame on the actual image object and not on any view. So there we go. And now it's gonna have the same exact effect as before. Let's go ahead and run this, there we go. So this means that if the person is logged in, then we are going to be returning any view and any view contains the image. And if the person is not logged in, so I'm gonna to set to false, we are going to be returning the any view which contains a text, as you can see. So which approach should you choose? Should you choose to return any view, which can be any view, or should you use a group? Well, any view does have some performance hits. So make sure that you are not using it in a lot of cases where there's a hierarchy going on. So I would suggest that you should use group instead of any view because of the performance issues. 
And that's pretty much it. So this video, you learn that how you can return different kind of views based on, uh, based on some sort of a condition. If you want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy and all the links of the courses are actually in the YouTube description. I also have a very detailed 16 hour course on SurfUI, which covers everything that you wanted to know about SurfUI. I even added a brand new section at the bottom. You can see new morphic design, uh, which you might also enjoy. But this is a long course and it contains a lot of gems about how to create SurfUI application. You can see we have more than 3,500 students enrolled and this is also the best selling course on Udemy on SurfUI. So if you want to support, check out the links in the YouTube description and please use the links to purchase the course, enroll in the course. And if you like some other courses that I have, uh, all the links are provided in the YouTube description. So definitely go ahead and check out those courses. Thank you so much. And I really hope that you have enjoyed the video.